Hi there. Uh, I'm Diogenes. I'm CEO of Yasis Health. And I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about thinking healthcare. Uh, we are working on some projects around the globe. Uh, it's Brazil, uh, Mexico, Canada, Australia, and, and Germany. And uh, uh, we have a lot of experience on healthcare, but we are uh, working with blockchain uh, as a tool for interoperability and lifelong wellness as core drivers for healthcare. Uh, along uh, with digitalized medical records, it is estimated that uh, the end of the year, last year, medical knowledge uh, double itself every 73 days. In COVID articles, the average double, double time is 20 days. Uh, we are moving forward with knowledge in medical uh, in medical stuff, and uh, we have new challenges on healthcare. World population is aging, and by 2030, there will be 20, 34 percent increase in the number of people over 60 and uh, these people will increase the exponentially the the costs of healthcare and uh, will be more difficult to access the healthcare um, the the healthcare pyramid uh, shows that if we focus on primary care and empower citizens, uh, it, this is essential to reduce healthcare costs. And uh, we have made us a question: how to give access, facilitate interoperability, and continue of care. Uh, and we know that health needs to reach everyone, especially those who need it the most, especially in countries like Brazil and Mexico that have uh, people with poor access to, to health care. And uh, our uh, intention as a company is to improve people's health by providing more quality of life, well-being and who knows longevity. Uh, and we uh, know that a pillar to the to this uh, to this stuff is the personal health care could uh, the patient need to be the CEO of his own health and to be this he, uh, we need to connect patients devices clinics laboratories and hospitals and empower uh, the healthcare professional and systems uh, in order to make a representation of digital health uh, in the hand of uh, the, the patient, the digital twin. But uh, the interoperability is the key to this new medicine. Uh, to break the silos, uh, we need to focus on inter interoperability. And interoperability, uh, the core driver of it uh, is uh, the connection between uh, distributed points uh, around the, 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 the country. Uh, in Brazil, we have built the Brazilian National Health Data Network that I presented last year on Hyperledger Global Forum. Uh, the, the main target of it is to promote the exchange of information between the healthcare uh, network uh, along the transition and continuity of care between public and private sector. Uh, it consists of a container uh, that is distributed uh, and contains uh, medical information and the timeline of the patient distributed around the network. Uh, in order to do this, we created uh, a network based on blockchain. So blockchain uh, was connected the docs as we used at Hyperledger Fabric uh, 1.4 uh, to build it in a reliable, distributed, and trackable way. Uh, all the information are stored in the standard, that is the fire standard, uh, and we pack these messages, these messages in fire standard. I want to show you some numbers. Uh, at the moment, we have on Brazilian uh, Health Data Network more than 1.5 billion transactions. 
29 orgs, organizations in the network, and more than 10,000 players sending information to this network. And uh, we have more than 100 machines on the network. Uh, we have a, a structure with more than a billion uh, information in the database. And uh, we have a very complex uh, structure uh, with blockchain later, uh, with the timeline for the citizen, and with the consent and logs for for all the structure. We are uh, GDPR compliant. Uh, we we uh, have done this this network uh, GDPR by design. Uh, we have a uh, an off chain document DB for the fire documents and uh, about performance we have uh, two uh, two thousand uh, transactions per second uh, in the aws cloud we have a half consensus structure with five nodes we have a timeline channel and a log channel three private data collections and an off-chain db for clinical documents on fire uh, and we are building a network that, communi that communicates with this uh, public network from the government and the private network from the all the, the the players from healthcare, and all of these are uh, DDPR and 21st Century Cures Act by design. Our structure was born compatible with these structures, and blockchain guarantees all the security, privacy, and consent structure, and a blockchain is this baseline for our project to coordinate the patient center access uh, and for this we have a, an app that is the yes patient app that's it's responsible for the continuity of, of care as we build the timeline on blockchain we can plug it on an on on our app and communicate with some protocols with artificial intelligence to get uh, the, the, the healthcare uh, more uh, controlled by the, by the patient and by the professionals. So we have online, uh, the doctor appointments, the exams, comments, wearable vaccines, and much more on, a, on this timeline. Uh, we have health tips on the structure uh, by the, the uh, recovering the, the information from the timeline and all the uh, the portability stuff to to put all this information on the network and we have a health passport uh for covid uh, that register the the vaccination and exams this example here uh, is running on mexico uh, and for this then we can coordinate the healthcare uh, with the health avatar uh, in, with the patient summary in a dashboard, we use Fire International Patient Summary as the main structure for for this uh, this health avatar, and we can do some things like preventive anamnesis for uh, uh, optimized clinical encounter, uh, sticky notes for health monitoring, integration of treatment plan, uh, clinical analysis with notice and symptom reports for an analysis and uh, the timeline for the professionals too. And then we can uh, join it on, a, on an active dig digital medical management that connects the clinic uh, with smart triage and analysis, uh, medical appointed scheduling, telemedicine, uh all adherent to gdpr uh and the structure uh in a in with connection with this blockchain network uh a patient chat with medical monitoring and q a uh, all the remote monitoring uh plug-in with wearables all this wearable stuff goes to the blockchain network uh, as signals to to the timeline for the patient uh, the medicine, the integration prescription, medicine reminders, and uh, all of these are used here in Brazil 
for specifically uh, reduce uh, fraud, uh, as all of these are on blockchain. We can control uh, if the, the medication dispense has uh, occurred in the, in the best way, and we are uh, reaching a, a, a very high level of reducing uh, frauds. And this is the main structure for preventive medicine in practice. Our structure are prepared for being preventive, proactive, uh, personalized, prescriptive, and with partnership uh, with the patient and professionals. Uh, we have a YASIS continuity. There's, there is a uh, tool for treatment, follow-up, monitoring according to ICON, uh, monitoring the uh, the outcomes for the patient, and uh, these outcomes are all trackable in the in our blockchain structure, and uh, we can have all this structure for the doctor too, so the doctor can uh, watch the timeline, watch the treatment and control all the status from the patients, all the quality of life indicators. Uh, he can pass uh, uh, the follow uh, the healthcare following the SBAR protocol. And, and with all of this structure, we are using uh, healthcare intelligence augmentation with uh, prognosis, drug recommendation, uh, with analytics, and we have a, a structure of analysis with suggested medication, precautions, interview tips, all of these are using blockchain and connecting blockchain with AI. So our structure here uh, can watch uh, the timeline for the patients uh, that are stored in blockchain. We connect this with a data lake uh, structure and then we, we join it on, a, on some uh, artificial intelligence algorithms to uh, get some preventive and prescriptive medicine. Uh, we have symptom analysis and all, all of these symptoms are uh, for special, specialities uh, and, and have a, uh, alerts to the, to the professionals. And all the structure of analytics including in details uh, with all the, those, those trackable structure from all the timeline from the patient. And then we can uh, do a proactive medicine with a personalized questionnaire for the patient and to do a treatment plan follow-up. Then, and final, we are doing a personalized healthcare marketplace uh, for the benefit of the citizen, like Amazon, uh, there is investing a lot uh, to, to join it. We are joining in custom health tips and uh, content direction according to the patient's health and products and services for a specific purpose for the patient. So we connect all the, the structures from healthcare since clinical document, uh, personal health records, uh, including wearables, exams, health notes, conditions, encounters, procedures, immunization, medication, exams. And uh, our structure uh, is a healthcare network in blockchain with all the structure from the consent management implemented in, in the smart contract uh, with the timeline for the patient and uh, connected with uh, an AI structure, a health intelligence environment that can have the analytical clinical data that is anonymized and the clinical data with consent, with patients uh, request uh, to compare it and have a health intelligence database. This health intelligence database uh, enter as input for our structure with personalized AI, and we connect some specialist database like Elsevier, uh, like PubMed, uh, and, other, and other structure uh, to have a clinical decision support system uh, with a clinical decisions database and a database for reinforcement learning. So we connected blockchain and AI 
in the same structure uh, in order to to reach, to reach lifelong wellness. So uh, lifelong wellness for us is connecting interoperability, continued of care, active patients, remote monitoring, AI, and so on. So we connect government apps, the patient app, uh, uh, apps from the industry, uh, from partners, and so on and so forth. We are uh, watching for the healthcare marketplace on our structure, uh, connecting with fintechs, biotechs, and genomics for our structure too in, in the timeline, and nutrition and well being. Uh, the final target for us is maybe uh, reduce the, the, the curve for, for, uh, we, we, for aging. Maybe uh, we can reach the longevity escape speed with health maintenance using prognosis, prevention, active patient, and the doctor as the manager for, for the patient. And here is a final video for you. The pandemic has turned our focus to health. And with that, a question came. How to bring access to health for everyone? We want to improve people's health by providing more quality of life, welfare, and even longevity. Our safe and reliable solution allows you to take care of your health for real. With the integration and delivery of your data, all in accordance with the GDPR, we facilitate medical monitoring through artificial intelligence and algorithms that analyze your records, suggesting improvements in treatments. Health professionals can act in the management of the quality of life and well being of their patients. Just as you take care of your finances or travel, you will now be able to manage your health with much more simplicity. Schedule appointments and contact experts through chat or video calls. Register your symptoms, prescriptions, medications, access your exams, and monitor your treatments. Integrate your smartwatches and bracelets to monitor your health and streamline diagnostics. Everything in one place. Be the owner of your own health. Have your health management in the palm of your hand and take part in the quality of life revolution. We are AEC's Health. Thank you very much. I reserve to you a couple of minutes for Q&A. And please make uh, contact with me if you have any questions uh, for the, uh, after the, the, the session or if you are watching on YouTube. So I'm here. Uh, if you want to make a question, please post it on, a, on the Q&A. And uh, I'll be here to, to answer those questions. Uh, I have a question from Ray Dogan. Uh, what's the company priority focus for the rest of 2021? Uh, we are focused on expanding our structure. We are expanding, uh, especially in Brazil, Mexico, and Canada. And we are using uh, this structure to, to streamline some uh, healthcare process, uh, to optimize some process from healthcare. And blockchain is the main structure for it. Uh, uh, in order, here in Brazil, we have a, a very, uh speciality from from the government that they have implemented the brazilian network that is national so we have a lot of facilities for this but uh, in mexico and and in canada we have some uh difficult that we are aiming and uh, to to focus on the rest of 2021.
where uh, we have a question from Slavika Tomovic, uh, where the blockchain nodes are deployed. They are deployed on the AWS cloud. Uh, we have uh, some nodes. Uh, they are structured on Kubernetes, and we have structured uh, uh, an, an uh, a little container to, to publish it as it is a very big uh, structure. We have more than 10 mach uh, 100, uh, uh, 100 machines uh, structure in, in the blockchain network. We have a lot of people to support it uh, here. And uh, they, they are all in containers. And we are um, we control these containers. We have a structure for microservices that uh, uh, respond for 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 the, the the players that are connect to the network and so on and so forth. We still have a uh, time here. If you want to make some question. Uh, I have two questions here. Uh, what is some feedback you've heard from your users? Uh, we have a, a lot of positive feedback as they now have uh, the power to have all the medical records in their hands. Uh, this is something that is happening in the United States at the moment within information blocking. Uh, we have the, all the technology of it to, to empower the, the, the citizen. And, and they, with this, they can have a, a lot of uh, more control with the data, the data, and they go to to the to the doctors with more power. So we have a lot of of uh, hear a lot of about this. Uh, I have a question, uh, Ken Nelson. What is actually happening on chain in your network? Uh, we are here on chain all the timeline um, especially the pointers of the timeline are on chain and off chain are the clinical documents itself so uh, we have a uh, just like an index in the timeline have a, a link to the off chain network and they have a, uh, the, the 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 hash for the off chain database to, to control that they have not modified to. And we have especially the, the index information uh, and all of these are on chain. And we have all the patients uh, on the structure on chain too. The data collect from wearables, how do you verify and link the data to the rightful user? Iraq Vikarti Meyer. Uh, the the structure that we we are using uh, connects the wearable with the the smartwatch or the smartphone, and we control uh, the smartphone have a uh, the login from the user, and then we connect on the on the on the just like a, a wallet, and then we send it to the blockchain network. So we con uh, receive it from the from the wearable to the smartphone, and then we we send it to the network. Would you be able to share your PDF, please? Yes, yes. I'm gonna upload it on a, on the SCAD platform, so you'll be able to download it there.
Any, any questions? We still have five minutes, if you want it. Do you, Bernard Pepper Strate, uh, do you have clinical trial capability, consent, patient disclaimers? Yes, our structure uh, is logging everything and we have some uh, personalized questionnaires that can have this, this all this structure with consent, uh, with uh, this consent is, uh, written in blockchain too. We have a channel especially for the consent and for uh, the control uh, of all this, the patient disclaimers and consent and, and so on and so forth. And we log everything that uh, is uh, read or write on the network. And uh, we have uh, all this track with this information on, on our network too. Just a couple of minutes. I think I can answer more two questions, maybe. Can you tell us about performance? Oh, yes. Uh, we have uh, reached 2,000 TPS uh, transactions per second. So at the moment, we have a, a very high throughput as all the vaccines from Brazilian government are on this network. And all the exams from COVID are on this network too. So we have a... Uh, a lot of uh, information that are going to this network and this network is uh, reaching a very high um, transactions per second. Uh, and we handle um, in some days around two, two to three million records in a day. One more question. So that's it. Um, thank you everybody for being here. If you wanna uh, contact me, uh, I, I can ask some more questions and uh, so uh, please make contact and and uh, call me on on linkedin uh thank you bye bye